Welcome back, everybody, to Last Light, where I I kind of got in my own head a little bit last episode and and uh, and freaked and freaked myself out. So I want to talk about why I think this whole scene right here is is scary because I think that'll be really interesting to kind of keep my mind off of the absolute existential terror that I myself am facing right now. So there's uh, I was thinking about this the last couple days, like why do I find this terrifying? And I think the reason is, it's the um, fear of the unknown. A very a Lovecraftian thing. Like, there is a monster here, somewhere. That thing right there, that potentially wants to eat my face. And it's not there anymore. Wonderful. Well, if I can't hear it, that's that's probably just fine. Also, I swear, there's going to be something with this gas is causing me to do like hallucinations and things like that. That's got to be it. Okay, thank you. kidding me it's back you know it again it's kind of like that lovecraftian fear of fear of the unknown like the best the scariest thing in the scariest thing that an that the scariest thing that someone can conceive is the machinations of their own mind um, not everything is going to scare every individual person. Fear is very subjective. Which is why I think that whole fear of the unknown thing is so effective, because what we picture of as scaring us uh, kind of... Uh, hang on. Back to the elevator. Very good. What, uh, what scares us is what's ever in our own brain, so to speak. So I'm trying to figure out a much more elegant way of saying, you know, we conjure up, we conjure up way scarier machinations than in our own brain than any sort of author can create. So instead of describing things in great detail about what's terrifying, just present us with a vague concept and our brains will come up with whatever, uh, whatever scares us the most. Also, I'm using a different texture pack. Uh, complimentary shaders instead of the recommended shaders. Damn good thing I was looking down. You mind? Jeez. So yeah, uh, basically, fear of the unknown. Fear, since fear is so subjective, use minimal details, make us face away from the fear, and we'll basically come up with whatever it is in our own brains that scares us the most. I think I'm free and clear. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, thank goodness that's done and over with. Wow. Crap. Better. Or not. Right click near a locker to hide. Why do I need to be able to do that? That worries me that I need to do that. Keep a note of all lockers. This is when I need to run like a bitch. Don't 
too. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No. I just unleashed something into the room with me, didn't I? I unleashed something into the room with me. Wait, did I not? Oh, those... I heard something. I totally hear something. Man, I don't like this. You know, it's one of those things where there's not a threat, but if you present the ability to get away from a threat, you think there's a threat? I don't know if there's a fear of the unknown thing here. I found a key. Nothing scary's even happened, but I'm freaking myself out. I hate horror maps with a passion. Yeah, same. I can't wait for this nightmare to be over as well. Like, it's not... Ugh. There's gotta be another way. No. Alright. That was weird. This is gonna collapse on me, isn't it? Uh, no. I'm not doing that. Hear monsters to the left or to the right? You can only move to the right or left. Move away from the sound produced by the monsters. What is this? Ah, I get it. Actually, I don't get it. I don't really understand what I was supposed to do there. Okay. Oh, I get it now. Okay, this is fine. I have to focus. Good thing I've got good headphones. Stop breathing so heavy, damn it! Come on, get me out of here. leave now? Thank you. That puzzle right there, I did not like. Let's 
gonna hide here for a minute. I want to see. I want to see what I'm up against. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Where are you? I heard it over there. I heard it over there. Look at me, afraid of a zombie. I am terrified of a zombie. God, when did I become such a weenie? Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. I think I got one more switch to flip. I'm imagining there's four switches. Go, 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 go. Search faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Make some noise, dude. Make some noise. Goody, it found me. Oh, it got me. I forgot. Forgot I can't jump. That's that's on me. I'd do this whole shit again. Are you kidding me? Oh, whatever, it's fine. Oh. Well, if there is an upside, at least I don't have to redo this whole thing again. I flipped, I flipped all these switches. Damn it, it got me again. That's fine. That's all well and good. It's fine. <sighs> okay, so I've got all these... So I've hit all these switches, like, now what? Is there a side room I missed? Oh, I get it now, there is a side room I missed. Not a problem, I understand, I understand now. for like a second. Okay, the thing's open. I'm done. Oh. Let's just back her on up here a little bit. I'm hidden. I am nice and hide. Nope, that thing is still there. Fantastic. Yep, it got me. 
But I think that um, everything kind of stays unlocked here, so. I should be able to just quick. Oh, yeah, it tells me all my activated levers have been saved, so. Yeah, I'm done. I can just. Of course, it decides to go the other direction. Really mix things up. I like that. I appreciate that. Ah, very good. Very good. Finish it. Ah, fantastic. All done. No problems. Uh, I don't like this. Let me guess. Let me guess. I need to carefully walk around a monster of some kind. Because that's probably what I'm going to need to do. A fuse. Man, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, let's see here. The entrance is locked by an electrical system. If we want to get out of here, we need to recharge the central generator located beneath the control room. Uh, I'm convinced it will make too much noise. Perhaps the cameras and security doors in the control room can protect us long enough for these monsters. Okay, I get you. I understand what I need to do. It's kind of like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. Yeah, a couple fuses, so... As of right now, I'm in no danger. But it's when I decide to flick on the generator, that's when we're gonna have a problem. Oh, well, this works. Hmm. Interesting. All right, generator overload and a. Apparently, il faut deux fusils deux pour faire fonctionner le générateur. All right, I have the two fuses, but. You know what? I'm not emotionally ready to deal with this today. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs>